First of all, please hit the subscribe button down there beneath the video and subscribe to the notification bell so that every time I come with a video, you get a notification on all your devices. Hi guys and welcome again to this YouTube video. This is Dikshi from Stay Uncle and I'm here again today to discuss something very very interesting. We're going to be breaking a myth today which is uh, most famous somehow because of the movies, because of the songs, because of everything that we've heard so far. And the myth that I'm actually breaking today is why opposites don't attract. <laughs> So let's get straight to the point. Why is it that opposites actually don't attract? Now we've been hearing this in the movies, we've been watching it in the songs, we've been uh, reading about it. It's like this idealistic notion that everybody has put into our heads that no, no, opposites attract. Now, by when I say opposites attract, I don't mean to say that uh, your um, races are different or your colors are different or your cultures are different when i say that opposites att don't attract or when we talk about the opposites it means that two people have completely different ideologies about life their upbringing is different their um you know their attitude towards daily things is different the first reason why i say that opposites don't attract it is because we are living in 2018 this is a day and age where the amount of exposure given to everybody is tenfold from what it was like 15 or 10 years ago as a matter of fact but you need to be with someone who is ideologically the same as you or at least similar if not the same uh, this is only so because this ideology is something that's going to reflect on his the way he or she behaves in public with other people the way he or she reacts to different situations with your friends with your family members uh, and the way they will bring up your children as well in case things go serious in the but <laughs> spiritual beliefs now this is a very tricky one now uh, now definitely I personally know couples who belong to different spiritual beliefs and who have managed to work it so well yet uh, this uh, holds ground uh, more importantly because if you two belong to spiritual beliefs where either one person is trying to force each other into each one's belief that is a problem because the problem with spiritual beliefs is that they turn to religious beliefs and compliance becomes very necessary this is especially for women who end up being with boyfriends because boyfriends uh, you know being nature of a male they are quite dominating to quite an extent so um, they try to put the women and mold the women to being into that sort of spiritual belief and question their own spiritual beliefs. So you definitely need to be with someone who has similar spiritual beliefs because that is the vibe you'll be creating amongst each other and that is how you harmoniously grow with each other. In the long run when life situations come, when things get tough, it is these spiritual beliefs that get you through your difficult times. This is the most important part of why I say opposites don't attract and don't fall trapped to these idealistic ideas because reality gets very different. Uh, especially when you start living with someone, you need to know beforehand what his ideas or her ideas of finances are because finance is one thing which causes a major problem I will give you an example of a friend of mine who was married uh, to this person and uh, you know she wanted to give out some part of her money to her parents because you know uh, she doesn't have brothers and there was nobody else to in the city to look after them so she said that now they've gotten me married i want to i want to pay a certain amount of money to take care of my parents and the husband said no the money has to come to our house how can you give the money to your parents and that caused a huge rift because naturally she was the only only child at the time you know who could look after the parents and she couldn't just abandon them and that's what the husband expected and while they were still in love she never expected that this could actually become an issue in, in the relationship. So yes, things like finances, where the money should go, who will spend the money on what, how will somebody save the money and how you have to jointly do the money stuff. That is something you must, must, must know. And um, because this is a very, very important part in a relationship. 
please try to find people who are similar to yours who have similar ideologies again i would say i do not mean similar in races i do not mean similar in religions as long as mentally your ideologies match and your thinking and your values and your family's values match or even towards each other as a relationship and as a couple as long as they match it will work here is a situation where i say opposites don't attract you are the extrovert one your partner is the introvert one you like to go out and socialize your partner is a house cat who likes to stay at home and home is best you know because home sweet home but what happens when you have to go to an important event and the partner screams out and says hey man it's not my thing your parties are all like this and it's not my thing you know all right you probably agree the first time you'll agree the second time the third time you're going to go out there alone everybody's going to start wondering is your but like why does new partner ever turn up like does he not like us or does she not like us or is there a problem or things like that so these kind of small things like socializing with your network um, these are some of the things that can also cause problems between your relationship and which is the reason why uh, unless you come to an agreement that okay these are the number of social events i have in a month or in a week and you can attend at least 50% of them or you know come to a work around because these things in the long run eventually start causing problems because it's not about whether your partner is coming to this events or not it eventually becomes about support you say you support me but you just never really there physically so what kind of support is this you know so these kind of questions come up all right so those were some of my tips on why you need to be with somebody who's similar to you and if you have any questions if you have any comments if you have any suggestions please write under the in the, in the comment section or you can email me at dikshi-aunty at the rate stayuncle.com and uh, if if there is something that you would like me to talk about i'll be more than happy to take up the issue i will see you next time uh please don't forget to subscribe and uh take care